Hello and welcome to Kids Included Together's instructional video series. I'm your host, Rebecca Tolan. In this video, we'll demonstrate effective ways to use a powerful tool, the voice. We'll explore how the volume, pitch, tone, and rate of your voice can be used in child and youth programs. Volume refers to how loudly or softly you speak. It's not a good idea to yell or shout at children, but you can increase your volume to convey urgency in certain situations, such as safety threats. He's carrying a bunny. Watch out, Ryan! <laughs> if you reserve your loudest voice for situations that really demand it, children will know to pay attention. Soft voices and whispers are also effective in getting children's attention. It forces them to listen carefully and helps control the noise level in the room. Pitch is how high or low your voice sounds. Everyone's voice is different and determined mostly by nature, but you do have some control over the pitch of your voice. Can you help me put these books away? A lower pitch is generally more pleasant to listen to. If you know a child in your program is sensitive to noise, you want to use both lower volume and lower pitch. The tone of your voice helps convey emotion. A voice can sound warm and approachable or harsh and angry, even if the exact same words are spoken. Be especially aware of your tone when coaching children about their behavior. When a child breaks a rule of the program, use a firm tone of voice with low intensity. Do your best to take the emotion out of your voice. I'd be screaming. This one doesn't <laughs> Maybe it's a duck. This one looks like it goes over there. It is not okay to throw the materials. When you're ready, clean them up and come join us. Finally, rate involves how fast you speak. You've probably noticed some people talk at a much faster rate than others. This can convey excitement or energy, while slow speech can be boring for the listener. Establish a rate that's easy for children to follow. Clearly enunciate each word and pause between instructions. Hey guys, would you be willing to help me clean up? Yes. yes. Great. First, we're going to clean up the toys, and then we're going to go wipe the tables. Being aware of the volume, pitch, tone, and rate of your voice will help you communicate effectively with the children in your program. You use your voice a lot in your job, so keep it healthy by drinking plenty of water, avoiding cigarette smoke, and getting enough sleep. <laughs>